Hello, JJ here with some um, news on Battlefield 4. This is the front cover of it. Um, I found some good news. Um, set during 2020, so it should be quite good. Um, it's uh, if you've seen the picture behind that city, that's Shanghai. So it's set ch around China, I think. America's in it. Russia will be in it. But yeah, there's a new uh, team, China, and. Um, there is now it's frostbite free, well frostbite three should I say, uh, so the damage is being improved because everyone complained about it in Battlefield Three, so they're improving that a lot. And in the trailer, uh, I'm not showing you the trailer because it wrote that will, you can I'll put a trailer in the description for it. But you see a building collapse, so maybe you can collapse full on skyscrapers, which would be pretty awesome. But uh, another thing they've added, which is pretty cool, is weather. So it'll rain and stuff like that. But what will be even cooler is if it's like icy or rainy. If you're going over hard ground, or it like on a vehicle, you lose traction. But I doubt that. But it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, you should tra check out the trailer. Vehicles are in it again. All as far as we know, uh, you can see behind that's the Abram that was in the last one, and I think it's the same APZ. APC the LAV what whatever but um, yeah but it should be a lot similar and I've got a couple of new maps as well uh, Shanghai is one of the maps as I told you uh, there is one going to be like Operation Metro which um, should be interesting in some Chinese subway I don't know what they look like um, but yes yeah, the I don't know, everyone's saying China should be quite interesting, because China's a big country, you have one area that's desert, one area that's jungle, and the next that's mountain, mountainous, so it should be pretty good, but I can tell you now, I'll be going straight to the campaign when I get it, but, um, to get a part across, so a lot of people want to know what happened to Dimitri, uh, for all the user, I think it was Dimitri, no, I don't think it was Dimitri, whatever he's called, the Russian guy he played, uh, if you didn't play the campaign at the end, uh, you basically see him talking about he survived a nuke, he's got radiation poisoning, he don't know how long he'll have left to live, maybe another 10 years or tomorrow. Um, and then someone's breaking into the door, you see him pull out a gun, clank his gun, and it ends there. We just get a point across he died of radiation poisoning, because I, I can't remember when Battlefield 3 was set. But this is long after Battlefield 3, so you won't have any of you guys back in. It's completely new guys. Just to get that point across, because I was curious, and a lot of people are curious, if it carried on from Battlefield 3. And it's Battlefield 4, not by Company 3. Because a lot of people are getting confused with that as well. But, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my interesting, well, don't know if you found it interesting, um, information on Battlefield 3, what 4 should I say, it should be very good, especially with the fact that there'll be 3 teams, it's going to be quite complicated what teams to be, maybe they're going to equal it out by having another bad team, but who knows, but I hope you enjoyed my information and found it interesting, this is um, JG, you can check out my channel for more videos, bye, <laughs> sorry, terribly sorry, um, I missed this out, this uh, some images of Battlefield 4. Uh, yep, brought back a pretty cool looking grenade launcher with a bet. That means, oh, oh, thank goodness, scopes. It's going to be a lot more accurate. Looks like a lot of the vehicles will be the same again. <laughs> Sorry I missed this out. I won't pay any attention, but I think that's it. Yep, I've got no more stuff to show you. Ah, sorry I missed out the images. Hope you enjoy my information. Bye again. <laughs>